Hey guys, Jay here from Wood Pigeon Outdoors. Great to see you all again. Today, we're going to be talking about black walnuts. Stay tuned. Mm. I'm going down now. I'm not saying it. Not your pussy. All right, so I was uh, messing around uh, downtown in Ottawa, uh, right by my work, and I noticed there was a black walnut tree. And uh, I've seen it before, and it completely slipped my mind. It's one of those things where you see everything, you see something every day, and you just, you know, kind of put it to the back of your mind. Anyways, um, basically, with a black walnut, uh, has a lot of uh, organic iodine in the husk of the black walnut. So basically what I'm going to do today is uh, show you how to make a tincture so you could uh, keep it aside for later on use. For this uh, recipe is very simple. All you need is some vodka in an empty jar with some black walnut uh, husks. All right. So basically, if you guys used uh, played or played with black walnut before, you know it stains everything. It's also used as a natural dye. Uh, so I'm going to be using gloves. All right. Now to get the husks off, you could use a rock and smash it. I'm just going to use a knife. Uh, it will stain your knife. It will stain. Uh, stuff around you so try to be careful try to wear dark clothing if you don't want it to uh, get stained all right so a con it will also stain your container so use a container that you don't care uh, getting stained I'm just using an old uh, coffee uh, instant coffee container with a lid pretty simple so what you want to do is uh, peel the husks off or cut the husks off it's very easy to do just a knife and as soon as you cut it you'll notice it'll start turning brown that is the iodine the natural organic iodine in the black walnut so so as you see the slice I just cut and this isn't a time lapse. This is actually real time. You can see it turning brown instantly. So I'm just going to process these down and then I'll get back to the next part. As you see, as I'm uh, cutting these, I'm just putting the nut aside for later. I could eat that later. But as you see, as the droplets right here, you know, it turns uh, a dark brown so there it is again and as you can see it goes to something like that so, so we don't really need a lot of this to make the uh, tincture you could also take the husks and put them in a dehydrator dry it out grind it up in a mortal and pedestal and have iodine powder so and then you could put that aside as well for uh, future use I'll show you how to do that as well later on in this video so as I'm cutting this you'll probably see the walnut well, just to the side right here how it's turning black go 
Oh, that should be good. All right, so for the next stage, I'll just slice these down a little bit thinner. And you can see where the iodine's coming out. And you want to use a sharp knife for this. Make sure it's a, a knife that you don't mind getting stained because it will stain your knife. Uh, you could use the, the husk as uh, to put a natural patina on your knife. Just rub it on, right? Stick it back into your knife sheath overnight. And uh, next morning it should be all black. So... There you go. So just put those in the jar. And this is why you want to wear gloves. So. Put those parts aside and then on to the next step. All right guys, so as you see, we got our husks in the jar. Now what we do is, yes it is a brand new bottle, I bought this especially for this video. And you don't have to use the expensive uh, stuff, you can just get the cheap bottle. So just open that up. I know, I smelled it, but all right, so like that, and then what you want to do is pour it in, have it up just past the husks, just like that, all right, we got some left over for party later, put the lid on. Give a little swish around. There's a squirrel in the background. I don't know if you can see him. But he smells the uh, stuff. But anyways, so you just put it in. You let it sit for two to three weeks. Put it in a cool place, and you're good to go. So what would we use this for? We could use it to clear ringworm. Um, it's an antifungal, antibacterial, uh, and you could also use it for the iodine. All right, now we still have some black walnuts left. All right, so what we're going to do is process the husks off the rest, and I'll show you what we could do for the next one. So, new pair of gloves because we're going to start. Uh, making the iodine powder with the husks so i what i did down there so what i've done is uh cut a piece of wax paper because i don't want my uh tray to get stained also i don't want the dehydrator to get stained so we're going to put the husks on that we put on the gloves now Everybody, or a lot of people know about uh, using the husk, but you could also use the leaves of the, uh, of the tree and make a wash with that. And with that, you could, uh, it acts as a surgeon, so it tightens everything up. So if, let's say you, uh, if you get some poison ivy on you, you could uh, take the leaves off the straight tree and uh, either crush it up and rub it straight on and what that does it tightens the pores and pushes the uh, oil from the uh, poison ivy out and uh, so all I'm doing is uh, doing a thin cut because we are going to be throwing this into a dehydrator, so we just want to keep 
keep this as thin as possible. And with this iodine, you can use it to, uh, let's say, get a cut. You could uh, grab the walnut off the tree, rub it on your cut, uh, like cut it open, cut the walnut open, rub it on your cut. And then, uh, you know, it acts as an antiseptic and antibacterial. It's also used for ringworms. It's also an anti-fungal. Uh, I'm probably repeating myself. And then once you have all your pieces sliced, it's very easy. You just stick them on the tray. Now you could also use the tannins uh, that you find in the bark to boil that down and make a wash as well. So you just take the bark, you put it into boiling water, you let it boil down, and then after that, you use that as a wash. Uh, for the uh, for the iodine powder that you make with the black walnut, you store them in uh, little brown jars. Same with the tin mixture, you put them in a little brown containers or a dark container. Uh, this way, no light gets into it and it lasts a long time. So, with that said, guys, I hope uh, this video is informative. Uh, like any medical or edible plants that you find in the wild make sure you know what you find and uh, make sure you know 100% what it is alright guys until next time stay safe out there cheers